Hey guys, welcome to another episode. In this episode, I build a realistic looking Walmart, but it took me five or six tries, including this Michaels, and I also added a bed, bath, and beyond, even though they're going out of business, into this build. If you like this AutoZone, just stick around and wait till the end, because the end is where I finally get it correct, and I really like for y'all to see it, so sit back and listen to another intro right now hey guys welcome back to another episode of city skylines i am msg let's get started so my last video i only have like 12 views on it so it wasn't very popular but i basically updated all this area with some skyscraper dlc uh buildings and a lot of offices and i think it turned out really good but i'm looking forward to this episode because we're going to do some expanding off of this little island here start jumping on over to another island and i believe i'm coming over here and i don't have the whole uh island unlocked yet but this is going to be a lot easier to get across less work than this section because as you can see we got a highway and a trumpet here that um if you saw the border i can't edit this whole thing so this would be challenging for me i wouldn't say challenging it's more like it's just more work there's a lot of editing here to do to get some actual decent roads and overpasses in to get over this section i do want to build over here but we will do that some other time and I still haven't decided if I want to start an oil industry. I don't think I'll have oil unlocked yet, but do I want to build oil stuff here? The oil industry on these little islands? Let me know in the comments. Hey, and if you like this kind of content, please consider hitting that like button and subscribing so you don't miss more videos. All right, so this is going to be a pretty long bridge, but that's okay because you can see the border here. This is all I got to play with. And there's no real way to get an interstate across here yet. I guess eventually, maybe here, go across here and circle around and get right in the middle of this little island to have interstate access. But that's at least one, maybe two more squares to unlock. So, and you can see I have a big portion of this area unlocked, but like I said, I'm not ready to go over there yet. Whoa, <laughs> look what decided to show up in my game. I haven't played this since I finished the last video yesterday and I've had problems with my net network anarchy window popping up or panel, whatever you want to call it. I mainly use it for this, force the ground to follow the road. Um, sweet, I'm glad that it is back. I use the picker mod here to pick this road, so I don't have to search for it. Boom, and we are straight. It's not a bridge. <laughs> I don't want that. Control Z, boom, easy, gone. Let's try that again. We want to get over here, and let me check out these resources real fast because I might be putting some industry in here, which actually might be a mistake with only one path so far. And the mo I could put in another bridge, but it's not like it's going to help much. And I can bring over the train, too. So I might be blowing up some more buildings, which was probably the goal I had the whole time. What a waste of a beachfront to have this train follow this road. I thought I was using the four lane, but I am not. Okay, we'll upgrade that a little later. Let's turn on the terrain heights. And we have a pretty big hill here. I wanted to respect the terrain. All right, it just goes up. We probably will just have to go up. I'm trying, I'm trying to respect the terrain more and build it more roads a little bit more realistic. All right, I'm thinking about starting a new series using realistic population because it is currently enabled, but it lets you it lets you pick the default settings of the game in case you're using it for other saves. So that's how it's set up right now. It's just vanilla, just because it's enabled. But I came in here to turn down audio. I'm gonna have this road in in a T. 
All right, guys, I am going to time lapse this here in a second and put in some more roads. I might just skip up further. Let's get it done. All right, I guess I'm using I'm using the wrong road. I don't want to use this one everywhere, so let's fix that. All right, I really like these big roads here. All right, let's get this uh, train track across before I forget about it. Why are we crooked? All right, messing with the network multi tool, I think that doesn't look too bad. Actually, that curve looks pretty bad. Let's see if I can't fix that also. All right, that is much better. All right, guys, um, I'm still deciding how I want to build this out. Definitely going to put a train station maybe right here. Let's get some residents moved in. I have the power and water. I mean, I don't think I know. I have the power and water in here, but let's make this a district first. All right, let's unpause it and start zoning residential here. Might take a while to move in over here. I'm not sure. Demand for residential is pretty high. So we will see. Right, we are losing 10 grand here, so that's not good. I think we need another industry. Is it coming back down? Hopefully it does. But let's add, I made my first ever asset and it's an eight by eight park. MSG, why is there two of them though? Oh, because I subscribed to one. I subscribed to it in the workshop. Yeah, not a good idea. Well, it doesn't matter, I guess. So let's stick it right here nothing special I, like i said i figured a park would be the easiest thing to make and i left all these terraces empty on purpose so somebody else if you wanted to make your own put your own flowers in there you could but it's actually uh lights up at night too so it's, it's all right i guess i think it's a pretty neat park it's just a little it's just basic if you ask me but we're gonna need some services over here so let's add uh, fire and police to the rural rural station and the rural <laughs> that's a really tough word uh, rural fire station and we can add a little parking lots oh yeah and they need water right, these uh big suburbs i love this pack it's so cool especially when you do four by four and the fences line up it's neat People still want to move here, so let's add some more residential. We're still losing money like crazy. 9000 now. Let's add in some commercial. All right, I'm not really going for total realism over here yet. I am just getting zones down. And then I'll come back later and blow everything up and add the zones I want. I can already see we're going to need a turning line here. So let's go ahead and throw that down. Let's throw in some more grids. Just the picker mod here, and there we go. Let's take this street up here, get another connection. Let's see if we can't put like a little, little scenic road here. I just felt like I needed a little tiny road there. And we're gonna put something in it, but I'm not sure yet. Maybe a baby park? That's so cool. The parking lot's full up like that. There we go. Switch with four people already. That's too big, a big of a hump, so let's go ahead and fix that slope. There we go. I love that tool. Now it's a lot more realistic. All right, and we're back to over 15,000 uh, population, 15,710. Uh, when I blew up all those buildings, <laughs> it dropped down to 10,000 from 15,000, so we're back there, but I'm still losing money. <clears throat> I'm 
which kind of sucks. What is up guys? I am back and you don't know this, but it's been a couple days since I've been able to record. I've been tinkering around with this uh, town and I am losing money again, but I've had it paused for many hours because I'm close to leveling the city up. Less than 2,000 away from Capital City, which will give me another square to build in. <sighs> but as you can see, I've basically run out of room over here. And I think I'm going to use the 81 mile, 81 tile mod and unlike, unlock the 25 squares because I can't build over here, really. I don't, I don't, don't see it being realistically building a bunch of bridges bridges across these right here. I think the real way to get through is to change this trumpet. And to do that, I need to unlock this tile. But I'm building over here, and I don't want to leave this half built. And it's not even half built. I want to finish off this peninsula, or this island. So I think that's what we're going to do. I don't like unlocking them. I want to earn it. But off camera, I've been adding grids and getting the population up, because a lot of my businesses are screaming for not enough educated workers, and that's because my tech school here is over capacity. So we're about to level up when the next year goes by, because everything's in the green. So it's the first time it's gonna, I've ever leveled up college, because I've never really tried. All right, and the one another thing I want to do is I haven't built like a shopping center or a grocery store. Or Walmart but I need this open because there's really no place for me to make you make a big shopping center because I need a big parking uh, lot and this is really hilly and besides there's ore here which I'm probably gonna be using that maybe I don't haven't decided yet because it's pretty steep a little ore uh, area um, indus for industry <clears throat> but I don't know yet I'm still debating how I want to proceed with that stuff so all this talk about the 81 tile mod, and I don't even know it's gonna work. <laughs> so let's see. Unlock central 25 tile area. Here we go, boom. So all the border disappear. All right, there's a lot of stuff I can do now. Let's put in a shopping center. We're gonna use the picker tool, this road. Go off this like this. All right, that looks good, but I don't like all that parking there because I just made a bunch of parking. Like so. I feel like it's missing a bunch of assets. Hey guys, editor MSG cutting in here. If you notice the video's been a little choppy and seems like there's a lot of content was missing creating this Walmart. Uh, I had some problems with the audio and had to cut a lot of it out. So sorry about that. And by the way, this is not the finished Walmart. It's totally different than what you're watching right now. These lanes are gonna... This trap is gonna be so bad. <laughs> And one thing is, my traffic is kind of bad. It's under 70. It's at 67% traffic flow, which is not good, in my opinion. And I think it's because I went through off camera and added a ton of stop signs. And let's temporarily add some power. Let's use Bob here. And let's get rid of all these parking spaces. Can I get rid of the curbs? Yes. Then take the Move It mod and... There, it's a lot better. And let's go ahead and move this up here. All right, and that sign's just not gonna work there, so we're gonna have to remove it. Sign, 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 sign. Machine, floodlight, door marker. Oh, tell me it can't move it. Okay, guys, so that sign just puts a whole um, dampener on everything, so goodbye. Okay, back to the drawing board. We are going to be using those other parking lot roads. Kind of changes everything up, because I can't put there because that sign. I think these are backwards. There we go. Then you put the filler in uh, with the space in between each one. All 
Alright guys, I don't know if I'm going to keep this in or not, but I am struggling. It's pretty late, I think that's the reason. So I'm going to try something like else. Try this again. Alright guys, you see what I'm working with. This thing is not being cooperative. I got a lot of movement mod here move it mod here to do so we will see you later and for me i'm giving up for the night so but i will be right back you won't even notice i'm gone all right guys what is up i've been away it's been a couple days now i needed to get this video out tonight but that's not gonna happen because i've been busy with work when you'll be seeing this it'll be wednesday hopefully which will be tomorrow for me it's late, but I've been detailing this Walmart for a while now. It's been a pain <laughs> trying to find enough props to put in the outdoor living area. And I think I managed to find enough, but it's still lacking a little bit, I think. And this Walmart is kind of like a Lowe's. So I put in a bunch of pallets and lumber and firewood in the back here just because I didn't have anything else to do back here. And little prop door action on the side and yeah there is a gate here you just can't see so and this is literally the first time i've ever put electrical boxes on the outside of a building and stuff like this but i did and i think it's turned out pretty cool so i have this all fenced out because like a there's some neighborhoods around me that have like walmarts and stuff and they got privacy fence around because i'm probably gonna put residential around this so i went ahead and fenced it off but yeah, there's still some detailing left to do in this area. I think the Walmart is done. We have a little glitch in the matrix here. I can't get rid of that. I tried everything. So we're just going to keep it because I've given up. And another exciting thing for me, I've, like I said, I've been playing this game forever. And I finally figured out how to do prop line tools. So I didn't do it with these ball art boards. Bullards? Blah, blah, blah. How do you say that? Anyway, but I did it with the plants, and I did it with these planters, and I did it with the fence, because this isn't a network fence, this is a prop fence. So I'm pretty excited that I finally figured out how to do it. I don't know what took me so long, uh, but that's like a game changer. And I added a bunch of tires in these bins, because they gotta do something with the tires. So the game's been paused since the I started messing with this. I, haven't, I unpaused it a little bit here, so the cars started parking. This armored truck's a prop, but these cars are actually, well, he's visiting Walmart, so he's a shopper right, right there, and this guy is visiting, so he is a shopper. Where are they visiting? Visiting Michaels and going to Michaels, so I don't know if they're working there, but this takes 144 visitors and 31 jobs available, and it will need well-educated and highly educated jobs, so it's going to be screaming like these are because i don't have enough educated workers in town right now that's okay they are historic buildings and they won't despawn or abandon because i fixed it yeah we're currently sitting over twenty thousand population twenty thousand three hundred and sixty nine to be exact we have a water problem always having water problems stay on the road here and boom but yeah i'm not putting anything on this road we're just gonna make it like a highway i guess hey guys what is up this is my sixth and final attempt at making this walmart this has been a rough video it's taken me way too long to make i'm having problems um just trying to do this parking lot it was killing me and um yeah like i think i got it right now <laughs> Whew. Like I said, this is taking me like a week to do this video. I was supposed to release this video yesterday. Today is Thursday. Actually, I was supposed to release it Tuesday. I just couldn't because uh, my regular job just got in the way. But I think this looks really fantastic now. Um, I actually posted pictures on Reddit um, from screenshots of what this was that you just saw a second ago. And I got a lot of good feedback. The biggest feedback I got was the parking lot was way too small for a Walmart. So this is what I did. And I'm not trying to toot my own horn, I guess, or brag, but I really like it. I think it turned out great. I love these terrace planters. The Vanya, I think that's how you say that her name, this creator. 
man, these are awesome. I love them. And there's three different types. There's concrete and there's wood. And then there's a whole bunch of other planters. So this is my fix here. And I forgot to put plants in them to cover the messed up pavement. These are all hiding clipping issues where you can see like under the map. And I discovered ploppable asphalt hides those as well. There's a lot of ploppable asphalt down the center of this parking lot because there was a line that went all the way down and there's nothing I can do to get rid of it. So I fixed it. Yeah, we got an auto zone, a Murphy's gas station, a little outdoor living here, and um, I figured this is probably not realistic here because Walmarts don't sell lumber, but mine does. This one sells lumber. It is a home improvement Walmart. And I just found a lot of random props in my inventory to fill in this area. Grills patio furniture just stuff you'd see outside and i think it turned out pretty good i probably could put some um texturing decals in there too but yeah i also learned that this would probably be filled in like a, with more parking because this would be owned by the property so i'm not sure how i'm going to fill this in yet and then also over here i'm going to put a retention pond just haven't got to it yet so there might not be any water in it. It might be a dry retention pond, which is fine. But I have plans how to do it. I think it's going to be kind of cool. But what do y'all think? Let me know in the comments. Uh, that's kind of blocking the sign there, but that's all right. And this is, I used a terrace planter here. And I used procedural objects, which I'm not familiar with. This is the first time I used it. And I was able to shrink it down to fit to size. Because otherwise it was r really big. It, too big and I needed something to fill in that area but if you have any more suggestions on stuff I could put here don't we're not talking about the outside of the property here because uh yeah it's definitely not done and this whole street is probably going to be um shopping district like I might have a target and a best buy in next and I'm definitely going to need to update upgrade this road here um I might get a wider four lane, but there is a small four lane that will fit here without messing anything up. But as you can see, I have some abandoned buildings because I don't have enough educated workers and that goes for Bed Bath & Beyond and Walmart. But I will fix that soon. It definitely, I need to build a real university and not the vanilla one to do the DLC one. I mean, as you can see, Bad, 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 and bad, bad, bad. How bad are we though? So we're missing a lot. Looks like 30, 39. I can't do math right now. It's late, y'all. I do my videos late at night when everybody is asleep. And I'm sleeping myself. <laughs> uh, so, all right, guys, do me a favor. If you're still watching this far in a video, I really appreciate it. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do so. It really helps me out. And also, hit that like button if you like this Walmart. I, I really like it. I'm going to hit the like button on my own video. But with that said, I did a really cool video that has over a 1,000 views, which is awesome for me. I only have 64 subscribers, and it's a realistic farming video. If you haven't seen that one, go back into my channel. It's one of the last couple. Uh, it's one of my favorites just because the detail I'm I impressed myself and I'm not trying to sound arrogant or brag or whatever, but it's kind of cool. Um, I'm still trying to get better talking through these. I hope y'all like this video and I will see you in the next one. Have a good one. Bye.